Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. We're here with Luke from LB Car Photography. Check him out on Instagram. What's up? With his soon-to-be Lamborghini Urus in what color? Blue Elios. Blue Elios. This thing's pretty amazing. Now, eventually we're going to test this against the Tesla Model X. But first we want to do some benchmarks with the V-Box to get a kind of an idea of what it's going to run. We haven't seen, we've seen a couple races with the Urus, but no actual 0 to 60, 0 to 100 or quarter mile time. So we got the V-Box installed, microphone and cameras. They're gonna go over and show me, cause I've never done launch control. I imagine it's similar to using uh, launch control on the Huracan or the Aventador. But we'll go over that, how to engage launch control, how to use launch control. And then we'll head out and we'll do some 0 to 60 and quarter mile testing, report back, little summary, and then uh, set up some races with the Tesla Model X P100D. We got that lined up for another race when we get back from SEMA. And we're going to see if this can take the new king of the SUVs, sport SUVs. Uh, we know this is faster than the Model X, but is it quicker? That's the real question. Can this car, SUV, whatever you want to call it, beat the Model X in the quarter mile? So let's get inside, check it out, go over launch control, and uh, see what it does. All right, so we're in the Lamborghini Urus. Uh, Luke, give me a rundown on how to turn on launch control. All right, so uh, you flick this Anima switch to Corsa right here. Okay, so we got to put it in drive first? Yes. Okay, so we'll hit the throttle, put it in drive. Put it in the Corsa. Anima button, put it in Corsa. There we Changes go. Change the screen up there. Okay. You got to shut the traction control on. And, then... and now we turn ESC off with that button. Did it go off? Yep, so we got ESC off. Now it's just normal foot brake. Yes. Correct. Gas and then let off and go. All right, yeah. so here we go. I'm not going to launch it right here because we're uh, not in a launchable area, but if the revs come up, we'll know how to do it and we'll head out and launch it at the uh, test track. All right, here we go. Power torque launch control activated right there. It only revs up to like 2,500. Probably it's twin turbo. Is it 650 horsepower? Yeah. Is it a 4 0 4 twin turbo? 4.0, 650 horsepower. If Probably look, a lot of torque, too. If you look at the boost gauge, that's all it's doing. Oh, we got boost gauge? Where's that yeah, at? Right, right underneath there. the uh, G force meter, other side. Right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. We actually have a boost gauge. Was it building boost off the line? Yeah, that's yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Dude! All right, so we're cruising in the Lamborghini Urus. Now, supposedly, it has some kind of lane control or autopilot. Um, feature. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and now. So I hit the button 68 miles an hour cruise. I'm going to take my hands off the steering wheel. We should do like a Tesla versus Urus autopilot battle. I mean it's doing a really good job right now. Look at that. So you can't see it but in the heads up display it's showing me like a, a car tracking the truck in front of me along with some arrows. No, it tells you to put your hands on it. It wants me to put the hands on it? Yeah. How do you know? The little steering wheel. Oh the little steering wheel. Okay there we go. But now, did it take it off? No, yeah, we're still good. Yeah, still good. So here we go. I don't know if you call it autopilot, but maybe lane assist in the Urus. It's doing a pretty good job. We're at 62 miles an hour, and I can definitely feel it keeping this now turn. It says take over. Because we're on a turn, right? It says, what if I don't take over? What does it do? Yep. Don't know. All right, let's try it. <laughs> I am not going to touch it, even though it wants me to, and see what happens. Now, the Tesla, if you do that, the car actually stops and pulls over. Uh, it says, pay attention. All right, now it's alerting me. And take over, pay it. Oh, it turned off. Oh, it's, okay. <laughs> so the car let off the, the throttle and tightened my seatbelt. Oh, really? Yeah, all at the same time. Wow. All right, so there you go. It's not as abrupt as what a Tesla does. It kind of blares at you with some big flashing hands on the steering wheel. And it actually will not let you en enable it again until you pull over and park. Let's see if I can turn it back on in the Lamborghini. Uh, yes, I can turn it back on. Yeah, there we go. There's 60. 100. The thing, like, and, we and had AC off that time. We got a 3, 4, 0 to 6. And that could be 3, 3 as well because V-Box round. I actually went out and did some more testing without the passengers in the car. And zero to 60 dropped down to 3.1, which could be 3.0 on the V-Box. I gotta look up and see if it rounded. Nevertheless, this is gonna be a super tight contender. Zero to 100 came in at 7.5 seconds. All right, so quick edit. Uh, 
It cooled off in South Florida. DA's like 500, it's 70 degrees. We wanted to give the Urus another try, see if we can get 2.9 to 60. He's pulling up right now. So there you go, Lamborghini Urus did zero to 60 in 2.9. I gotta pull the V-Box date. It's possible it did 2.8, and believe it or not, that 2.9 was actually spinning the tires on a drag strip. I think this car's gonna go 2.8. I think it's gonna be a tight race with the Model X. We're gonna line that up soon. Thanks to uh, Ball Scene for bringing it out. So there you go, that's a new record for the Tesla Model X. We've got 1128. <laughs> Lamborghini that went off right here. <laughs> <laughs> 